and giants, it's time for another book review. For this week's book, we are going to be talking about The Dark Days Club by Allison Goodman. This book came out in January of this year of 2016, and it is the first book in a new trilogy by Alison Goodman. In the Dark Days Club trilogy, we follow the adventures of young 18-year-old Lady Helen. Our story begins on the eve of Lady Helen's debut presentation as she is to begin her season. A season in the life of a young lady is to begin presenting them to society as an eligible female to be wed, essentially. Around this same time that Lady Helen is debuting herself to proper and high society, one of her family's maids disappears. This was a maid that she cared for quite a bit, and one of her other maids was also good friends with this maid who disappeared, so she begins to be sort of suspicious. and sort of kind of begins looking into it. Everything seems to happen at once in Lady Helen's life, and she all of a sudden makes the acquaintance of Lord Carlston. Lord Carlston is known around town as being mm, troubled, one might say. The rumor on the street is, as it were, that he murdered his wife. Rather dramatic, I know. So Lady Helen falls into acquaintance with him in the sense that she meets him and he seems to have something really important to tell her. She does end up meeting with Lord Carlston in the company of her brother Andrew because, and I appreciate this about this book, they had to follow proper societal structures, okay? And a lady does not just go meeting a gentleman at any point or hour of the day, much less alone. And what Lady Helen ends up discovering is that Lord Carlston is what they refer to within the Society of the Dark Days Club as a receiver. And receivers are essentially those chosen to fight against the deceivers who are demons who just float around town. Yeah, you heard me right. In this book, there are demons who just roam the streets of Regency London, and Lord Carlston is among those who fight the demons off. And what Lord Carlston comes to Lady Helen to tell her is that she has been chosen to be a part of this, the Dark Days Club. And that is all I can tell you without getting too spoilery, so I have to stop there. I appreciated the well-roundedness of these characters even though we might not have spent as much time with them such as like her brother Andrew or other characters we kind of meet along the way as we do with Lady Helen herself or even to a certain extent Lord Carlston although in the book Lady Helen seems to always be missing Lord Carlston and she can't spend enough time with him learning and asking the questions that she needs to ask and as a reader I felt that too like whenever she would be in a situation where she felt man I really need to talk to Lord Carlston I would be thinking the same thing and of course as the reader I didn't have that control and as Lady Helen being a female in this society that was the 1800s she didn't have that power as well so I kind of felt stuck with her at certain points and it was kind of it served its purpose that writing style it did lady helen lives with her uncle and aunt penworth and her uncle is disgusting her uncle is completely gross just so atrocious like the patriarch is alive in her uncle he was a grotesque character but he was so effectively gross and not a good man and Lady Helen was spunky and tenacious and I appreciated that about her and tenacious is a really good word I used it to describe Hazel in the darkest part of the forest as well but it's true okay she's tenacious uh, she's also timid at times back to our present Lady Helen she's a whole character in the sense that she like has these moments of towering strength and courage and then has these moments just like seconds later of fear and being shy and I thought that was great. There were a few times that she just kind of made me a little bit crazy because I was like, just make up your mind. What are you going to do with your life? Look at your life. Look at your choices. Felt like that a couple of times about her. Diving into this book, I will not tell you a lie, I actually had no idea that it was a trilogy. That's been happening a lot lately to me. It did leave off on a pretty gigantic cliffhanger. So if I hadn't known that it was a trilogy, if I hadn't discovered that halfway through reading it, I probably would have discovered that at the end. I would hope I would have put two and two together that a cliffhanger typically implies that there might be more coming. 
I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads and I really cannot wait until the next book comes out because this is such an interesting idea. It combines historical fiction, which I really enjoy, Regency London, which I also really enjoy, and demon. So there's like this fantastical supernatural element to this book which is just completely unexpected. And Lady Helen gets more and more badass as the story unfolds and so I can't wait to see where she goes from this book into the next two books. And you know there's a like a teeny tiny teeny teeny tiny bit of romance in this book but it is not an overarching theme and for being as long as it is I'm actually really impressed by that because it would have been really easy, right, to just make this book a romance with demon hunting on the side. But no, it is a demon hunting book with like a speck of romance. Like you have to look for it. So there you have it, my friends. That is my spoiler-free review of The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. I truly enjoyed it and I hope that you read it and enjoy it as well. If you have read it, what was your favorite part about it? Leave a comment down below to let me know. And in case you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button wherever it is in this region at this point because I want you to come hang out with me. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. Tuesdays are beauty videos, Fridays are book videos, and sometimes I just do whatever I want. So there's a fair share of that in there as well. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye! However, Fairfold is a pretty gigantic tourist trap. One of the main that I would take with it. me into the park if all I could carry was this. Typically, what ends up